Shalom. Ko halo Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Rakaha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. The would be judges, the 144,000, and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth. Among the heathen nations that look like the heathen nations. All right. And to the, this is not a black thing. All right. And to the few Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm coming to you, you with uh, another lesson in truth, another revealing of Edomite uh, supremacy lies of American hegemony lies and the, the blanket statements loaded statements and misinformation that's given by the powers that be um, that do exactly the opposite of what this guy's going to say. They're the, they want a well-informed public. No, they want a very misinformed, disinformed public. All right. And this video is our, is, uh, this video is about the chariots of Israel. And we're probably going to name this video chariots of fire. All right. And, um, we who've been awakened through the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, not this, you know, this retard wokeness, whatever that's supposed to be, but the people who have been quickened by the spirit of Yahweh Bashanah Shai, which is the, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, not Jehovah and Jesus or Yahweh and Yahshua, all right? Yahweh is a, a Yiddish uh, form of, 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 of Hebrew, which is incorrect, and so would uh, Yahshua. All right, there was no U in uh in Hebrew, no U sound in Hebrew, no no E sound in Hebrew. The only long vowel in Hebrew is is the I sound. All right, and if you do your research, you find out that the name Joshua and and uh and Jesus are are trans. You know they they kind of uh what's the word that I'm looking for? You can use one for the other. Salaki, I forget the word that uh that uh that i was searching for you know slipped it slipped away from my tongue but uh translate it you know you can you could you could train you can you know because there's scriptures when it's talking about joshua or or jesus but it's actually talking about joshua all right and and if you do the proper breakdown of joshua you get the name how when you put the ya in front of it it's ya how he saves you know and <clears throat> Joshua was a judge and more importantly he was a savior of Israel but he is not he was not the savior all right all right because Yahweh meaning he is all right roughly he, you know he is uh and then uh Yahweh shy meaning he saves or he's the savior all right that's why you know uh you know Jerusalem is Yerushalayim all right the prophets, you know, when you Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Zechariah, you know, the, those 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 sounds, those names all have the Yah in them. All right. So these people, you know, are speaking about uh, UFOs, UAPs, and that they have uh, the properties and they're, re you know, the, you know, the, then they're reverse engineering it, which means they either shot them down or captured them or found crashed. It's all a lie. All right. They can no longer deny their existence. All right. So what they're trying to do is do what they always do, just like they love to throw black in front of Israelite and just saying instead of just saying the Israelites, like it says in the Bible, you know, they throw the black in there, even though they are des described as a swarthy people, as a, a dark complected people. But, you know, you got to remember the, you know, the false narrative that they've uh, connected to the word black, you know. And that they've connected to the word white and many other words, all to control the narrative, all to control the talk points. And like I always tell you, they, you know, they always want to use loaded statements. All right. And miss or disinformation uh, and make it legitimate when it's not. OK, so I'm going to and, and when in this whole video, I'm going to play probably I'm going to play this whole video. It's only about 11 minutes long. 
you see the title of it, you know, I suggest you go and watch it. I'm going to play maybe about four or five minutes of it. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to grab a scripture. All right. Because I've talked for almost five minutes now. Let me grab a scripture. I actually meant to read it first. And that would be one that I bring out, it seems, every week. First Timothy 6 and 20. All right. Because we were warned by, you know, Timothy of this. And it says, oh, old Timothy Keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so-called. So what that's telling you is that you're going to, there is going to be a government, a people, a ruler that was going to uh, uh, tell lies, profane that babblings, and then they were going to actually use uh, pseudoscience, false science, not real science, to control the narrative to fool and control the people, just like some of the things that happened medically, you know, not that long ago. And you see all the, you know, the lies that are coming out. I heard some woman say that, or some guy say that, you know, that she can't even imagine how many people died because of RFK and that he's a science denier, you know, um, you know, no one denies real science. You just have to deny pseudoscience. Okay. And when you, you know, without saying anything medically or any names or anything like that, but when, when you have an issue, you know, where an illness uh, has a very high survivable rate, but yet you push, uh, you know, some sort of medical thing for that illness, and then that medical thing actually, you know, terminates more people than the illness, the illness does, you got a problem. And then when that happens, you blame it on the illness. You know, that's what we're dealing with here. All right. So uh, without any further ado. Mr. Elizondo for his opening statement. Greetings, Chairwoman Mace, Chairman Grothman, Ranking Members Connolly and Garcia, and members of the committee. It is my honor and privilege to testify before you on the issue of unidentified anomalous phenomenon, formerly known as UFOs. On behalf of our brave men and women in uniform and across the intelligence community, as well as my fellow Americans who have awaited this day, thank you for your leadership on this important matter. Let me be clear. UAP are real. Advanced technologies not made by our government or any other government are monitoring sensitive military installations around the globe. First lie, they're made by the heavenly government, the one that the Lord is coming to set up. And he's very, what he's calling UAPs, all right, are the are the main vehicles that he's going to use to do it. All right, they have been saviors unto Israel uh, in the past. You would think with all these things going on in the land of Israel that they, you know, they would know that. It's funny how none of these uh, UAPs are not are not showing up to defend them. Why? Because they're not the people that are causing the majority of the problems. I would probably say about ninety of the problems on the earth today. 90% of them, all right? So that's the first lie. They know exactly what they are. Um, and here in the in the book, because they only really had four, three to four precepts I was going to bring out, but then, you know, the spirit is doing what the spirit do. And this is uh, Revelation 21 and 2. And it reads, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their power. See, so that's the new government that's coming down here physically on earth. All right. And they're going to judge the nations all right they're going to judge the nations because you can't trust what these people are saying ecclesiastes 12 and 10 never trust thy enemy for like is iron rust of so is his wickedness all right you can't trust these people what they say all right it tells you in uh, isaiah that the lord is coming back and he's going to set up a government that's going to be above all governments and there will be no more governments, no more mountains and hills. Mountains and hills represents large governments and small governments. And the mountain that this guy is speaking on behalf of 
is one of those governments that is going to be removed and the Lord is going to set up his holy government. That's why it says on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. Which means the, 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 uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, which the Ten Commandments is a shorthand version of 613 commandments, all right, will, will be the rule of law on earth. And then there are going to be 12,000 men from each of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, that's also in Revelation, uh, are going to be the ones who, who, uh, who put out that justice to enforce those laws unto the nations and the heathen nations. So that they may learn the ways of the Lord and, and, and please him and keep his wrath off of them. And could, because when they violate the law, the judges will show up to judge them. All right. This is Revelation uh, uh, 7 and 4. And it reads, and I heard a number of them which were sealed and there were sealed 144,000 and all of all the tribes of the children of the sons of Israel. All right. That's what it actually says. The sons. Because there's going to be no daughters that are going to be judges. It's only the men. All right. He just told you that his he would dwell with men. The tabernacle of the Lord is with men. All right. And it says, of the tribe of Judah was still 12,000. That's the very tribe that the Lord came from. And that tribe is, des is described for lack of a better term. Uh, since, you know, so, so many people out there have a lack of understanding what swarthy is. Well, they're described as black with woolly hair. Hence the reason why they... Uh, remove swarthy <laughs> from most dictionaries, modern ones anyway. All right, and um, and they replaced uh, descriptions. They replaced black when they they put swarthy. You know, it would have been easy to just put swarthy in the Bible, but they removed that and they purposely put black. All right, just like they put you know the J word everywhere, knowing the true names. All right, but it says. Um, out of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Nephthalim were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Out of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. And out of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. That is your 144,000 judges that are going to be led by Yahweh Shah himself and his second in command or third in command under all the heavens will be King David here on earth, judging the Israelites and the whole world and his, and his judges will go out to administer justice and righteousness. All right. They will administer justice and righteousness, being the right hand of the Lord, his will here on earth. All right. And these vehicles that this guy is talking about, that they're admitting to, that they know exist. And in the whole time that this lie is being pushed, look to the left. All right. The guy with the bald face. All right. Trying to get my pointer out. Salakia. Yeah. Look at that guy. All right, let's bring my porter come across the screen. Look at that guy. Look at that right there. The whole time he's lying. Look at him. All right. So nothing is done by coincidence or by accident. Who knows what he's doing under with his hands under there? All right. Furthermore, the U.S. is in possession of UAP technologies, as are some of our adversaries. I believe we are in the midst of a multi-decade secretive arms race, one funded by misallocated taxpayer dollars. Now, he just told a great big old lie, saying that, that he and adversaries of, of this current wicked ruling uh, government are in possession of UAP, so which would suggest that they shot them down or they've gathered them up and so have the others. But in their stories of from the Russians of these things coming down and taking over the missile silos, completely turning the missiles on and turning them off. 
And I believe that it's happened here in America as well. All right. So they have no control over those things. They may try to mimic them. All right. You know, the, you, you, you hear this talk about Project Blue Bean. We'll see where it comes into play. You know, if they're going to try to use it to stage a uh, false, you know, UAP, UFO invasion, or they're going to try to use it to do a false second coming or whatever. But, you know, you're not going to, that's why it says they, they, they you know, they, they're going to try to fool everyone, but the elect won't be fooled. All right. And we've been warning you of these things. So they're definitely getting ready to do something because they're admitting to it now. All right. And they're trying to get your mind ready. And, you know, I mean, there must be a couple thousand movies on the subject matter, movies and animated movies. All right. On the subject matter. I just watched Elevation. And that's what Elevation was all about. Alien technology that was here on Earth that came from somewhere else. And the things that were here were hunting and exterminating only people. It was so many uh, messages and cross messages. Because one of the things I found interesting is that these these things that looked like beasts were heavily armored. You couldn't shoot them. And you couldn't. It was hard to stop them. You know, explosions that with their highly advanced technology and the way they did was they hunted people from the uh, from the carbon that they after they breathe that you exude from your body. And that's how they I guess they could tell the difference between, you know, what people breathe and what animals breathe, because they didn't they didn't harm or destroy any infrastructure the animals or ecosystems they only were killing people because it was funny how the animals were flourishing everything was growing <laughs> you know without people especially well you know what kind of people who just can't seem to leave the earth alone or leave it at b all right but um let's go ahead and get a few more scriptures because it's, it's hard for me then he's going to start talking about 9 11 and come on man all right that that story has more holes in it than Swiss cheese after it was shot up by Yosemite Sam. Some of you older folks know who Yosemite Sam is. <laughs> All right. But. Um, let's go to Zechariah five, which is one of my favorite scriptures talking about, you know, the uh, the chariots. All right. The wheel inside the wheel. All right. But this is uh Zechariah 5 and 1, and it reads, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, and the lift thereof twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. And he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the whole face of the earth, for everyone that stilleth. And this is why they're so concerned, all right? Because this is a curse that goes forth over the whole face of the earth. And the Edomites have stolen the whole earth. They stolen a, they've pushed all the other uh nations off their lands. All right. Uh and the and the, and the nations are angry, which brings to mind this video uh of the uh uh this video that I, I saw over the weekend which kind of went viral of uh the Japhites you know, the real true people that came from the part of Asia they call Europe, all right, that it got pushed out of their land, uh, uh, danced the warrior dance of the Hakka in defiance to uh, Esau Edom. The whole world is rising up against them. You know what? So let me um, turn the sound up and let you see these enraged people dance their, their dance of war because that's what time it is and that's what time we're living in. You tore that shit up. Fuck your laws. It was lit in there. The Japhites were not having it.
Hey, they was about to go to war now. They was ready to go to war, man. And so that's the way people feel about these Edomites, man. They've, they've ruined and destroyed the whole world, man. And and ruined and, and stolen, raped, robbed, and murdered. And that's why these UAPs, these, these UFOs are coming back to visit them. All right? It says, verse 3, Zechariah 5 and 3. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the whole face of the earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on that side, according to it. Look what they just did in Hawaii, you know, when they when they got when they tried to get that land. Well, they did get that land when those fires came. You know, when those uh, uh when those hurricanes and I mean, uh, not the hurricanes, but those uh. Those volcanoes went off in a certain area. And now, you know, the evidence is out there. That is what's out there is that they can aim, uh, you know, inclement weather, storm, volcano, tornado, hurricane, you know, uh, tsunami, uh, 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 what do you call them? A typhoon. They can they can aim these things. It came out that the technology, uh, that's why it was so wet in Vietnam so often because they were controlling they were using uh, typhoons to try to wash the Viet Cong out of the tunnels. All right. So Esau is exposed, man. And and he's trying to control the narrative yet again. All right. But that's not going to help him. And, and it's going to be very embarrassing and shameful when these things start destroying them. And there's nothing that they can do. You know, the tech, the pilots have already told you that the way these things move defy all, all uh, uh, you know, all the 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 laws of physics here on earth because we're dealing with beings who created the elements so they can move within and use the elements. All right. Uh, Zechariah five and four, and I will bring it forth, say if you of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief, the man named thief is, is America. All right. And it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And shall remain in the midst of the house and consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. And then the angels, it is the angels are in these vehicles. And then the angels talked with me, went forth and said unto me, lift up thine eyes and see what it is that goeth forth. So that's like the scripture said, you know, to, to look up for your, 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 uh, 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 your salvation draweth nigh. All right, we're going to get one last scripture, man. Another one of my favorites is Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. It's Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. They did not look for these chariots to return and, and wreak havoc and destroy and then rescue at the same time, start, you know, picking up the Israelites. They weren't expecting that. So we're going to close this again <laughs> and let, because <laughs> they got me fired up. <laughs> got me ready to, to, uh, to, to, to dance the, the, uh, the haka. <laughs> All right, here we go. And she marched down from her stands, down to the floor. And there's so many videos, you can see it from different angles. You can see how many of them were doing it. And how red and afraid the so-called white people look. And said like, hey, look, the angels, the, the nations were angry and they shall hate the whore. And right now the world hates the whore. And there's nothing that uh, Donald Trump can do. To stop the prophecies of the Lord, man, or these uh, these chariots of fire, all right, the chariots of Israel, they are not UFOs, they are not UAPs. Call Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, 
Kaha Kwadash, Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal.